what we know so far is that Miles Sanderson uh, was taken into custody mid-afternoon local time in a town called Rostern, Saskatchewan, uh, which is about 133 kilometers southwest of the James Creek, or pardon me, the James Smith Cree Nation, which is where most of the stabbings took place. This is, for you who love Saskatchewan and Canadian geography, is about three hours drive north of Regina, which is the provincial capital. It is, however, only a 42-minute drive from Saskatoon, which is the other major city in in Saskatchewan. So it's actually getting uh, it was actually getting pretty close. Uh, how this all started is police responded uh, to the report of a stolen truck and a person with a knife, and they uh, found Mr. Sanderson about an hour and 20 minutes later uh, in uh, in Rostron, which, uh, as I say, is uh, very close to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Now, Miles Sanderson, uh, he's uh, got a long history of violence. I've been looking across that rap sheet. Why was someone like that able to be walking uh, free in society? In Canada, quite often we have what's called statutory release, which is when a person convicted of most crimes, uh, at two-thirds of their sentence, gets released with conditions on parole back into the community at a halfway house or uh, if they're Indigenous, maybe back to their First Nation with restrictions. And they must report to a parole officer or a community worker, whatever title they may be. And that's for a lot of reasons. It's, it's just so a person does not get released at the end of their sentence with no conditions and away they go. They just drop into society, hey, best of luck to you. It's so they can actually be integrated and become a productive member of society. However, Mr. Sanderson did not meet with this caseworker back in May. And an arrest warrant since May, in this interview that you and I are doing right now is September, uh, an arrest warrant was issued. And, of course, the question is, well, why wasn't there an effort to find him and bring him back into custody? He has 59 criminal convictions since he was the age of 18, uh, became addicted to cocaine apparently at 14. His most recent convictions were for assault, assaulting a police officer, uttering threats, mischief, and robbery. And he's now charged with some of the murders uh, that took place uh, just a few days ago. Uh, 18 stabbings, uh, 18 people survived, and 10 were found murdered. And another uh, murder victim was his brother who was found uh, on the reserve, uh, I believe it was yesterday.